Ryan Gosling from Drive. He's a staple of the whole literally me genre. Now That's you, you but surely plays at this boy. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, the Blade Runner. Yeah, I'm gonna get to him in a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not like a psychotic character. He he has like morals. He, he won't use a gun. Yeah, it's kind of like that old, um, that sort of old Western samurai thing where he has like a, he's a criminal, but he has like a perverse code of honor and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what sets him apart. So again, we're going to Blade Runner now with Ryan Gosling. Yeah. <laughs> His whole career is just playing <laughs> literally me characters. If it if makes him a living, I can't, can't hate Oh on yeah, it. yeah, he, he does really well at it. He also comes across like uh, an outsider. Like uh, we, we know in the Blade Runner universe that there are literally slurs against uh, yeah. re- replicants, like skin job or skin. skin job, yeah. Fuck off, skin job. Yeah, but he he still he has a job. He has a particular set of skills. But he's he's valued by his immediate superiors, even if they don't value him as a person. He he's still valued as. That's the thing. He's like really good and competent at his job. It's just because he, you know, he doesn't have blood. He's a good example because, again, it's that sort of thing where he doesn't, like, give anybody any shit. He does everything right, and yet, at the end of the day, he's a skin job, so... <laughs> hmm. Not his fault, is it? Exactly. But nothing, nothing... It's like he could save a drowning child. He could, like, cure world hunger. And to some people, it wouldn't matter because he's not human. Now, is that something that people relate to? That no matter what they do... What, they're the robots? What? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, that, that that society won't like give them the validation that they need. So, is it? Do you think people relate to him because of a lack of validation? I mean, that, that that's the impression I got from it. What validation would he want? Do you know what I mean? Like promotion? It's that kind of thing. It, it's that sort of like material. It, it's all like material stuff, isn't it? It's yeah. It's a valid question though, and I think that is true. I think that's the reason why they gravitate towards these types of characters, even though they're clearly sort of destructive and dangerous. Is that? They do everything right, but they're never like rewarded or validated. Or another impression I got from him was I, I don't know if you'd call it intimacy issues, but Joy is typically seen as not being a real girl, even though he is personally fulfilled. Other yeah. people like look at him and sort of like, oh, you don't like real girls, do you? You don't like real girls. To, to him, there's like a, a deep emotional connection, but to everyone else, it's just like, oh yeah, you got one of those, have you? Yeah, I mean, it also doesn't help that, because he's a naturally stoic character anyway, you can never really tell, well, you can tell what he's thinking, but that's only after you've spent so much time with him, but I guess the idea is that they think he's an android, so they just think, well, again, it doesn't really matter, because he clearly doesn't think how we think or feel what we feel, so... To him, it's just him wanking off to an AI. <laughs> so again, going from uh, one Ryan Gosling film from another to another, yeah. Ken. I tell you, the guy don't stop. No, no. it's uh, Every six years, he has to come out with a film that is generally <laughs> like, well regarded with... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've just read, yeah, I've just I've had, I've had to do some quick maths. Yeah, 2011, 2017, 2023. Yeah, 2029. So now we're just going to wait till 2029. 